Five nil. Manchester City. It's coming up. Hello everybody, welcome back again to another um, episode on Toon TV. Um, today is a match review uh, for the Manchester City game against Newcastle United. 5-0. My word, we're going to have to talk about a lot of things today. First of all, we're going to start with the scoreline. That is absolutely ridiculous for Newcastle. Yeah, fair enough, we're going to go against Manchester City. I mean, come on. I was at least expecting like a 2-0 loss. When we're losing 3-0, fair enough, it's Manchester City. Yeah, 3-0, I'll take it. But to to concede two more goals after that was just absolutely embarrassing. I mean, we're Newcastle United. We are the richest club in the football world. We've got the summer chance of windows come up. Have some respect for yourselves. I mean, there are some positives, but the only positive is subs. Wilson and Trippier, I'll get on to them in, um, in the um, player ratings. Um, but come on. Jesus Christ. Chris Wood, what are you doing? What are you doing? Oh, there's no there's no way you're you're starting anything next season unless players that many players are injured. Because there's no way you can step on that field while whilst Wilson's back. Hundred percent, no doubt he will be he won't be starting next week against Arsenal. Cause that, is, that was an embarrassing performance by Chris Wood. Hardly any of the players played well. Um there's just nothing but negativity towards this club. Manchester City had the right field day against us. I mean, it was just so, so, so bad to watch. I mean, they've got to have some feelings for the fans watching it. And the fans travelling all that, wasting all that money just to come watch some crap teams play. Just have some respect for your fans and yourselves. To just play like that, not show any fight, not show anything against Manchester City, who I know is a good club, but oh, it's just embarrassing. But yep, that that's just our season. I mean, we better get some like six points in the, in the next two games. I mean, I, I know we're safe, but it would be nice to see some three points. I think we're gonna smash Burnley, but Arsenal will be a good game, and I hope hopefully it'll be a good game because I bloody hope. Let's talk about Manchester City then. Manchester City, absolutely brilliant. Pep was literally Mardi at 2-0 up. Until he got 3-0, he was happy. Um, Eddie Howe didn't bring any subs on until literally the 7th, 70th minute. He left them too late, I feel. But obviously, the physio said that they wanted Wilson Trippier that many minutes, so he had no options. I mean, he had Murphy on, who did absolutely nothing. We had a few players did absolutely nothing. Um, there's just nothing to talk about um, and that's just crap from the players. I mean, there's no point to talk about anything else, just the player ratings, because what else is there to say? I said my rant, and yeah, we're just going to get on to the player ratings, because what else is there to say? No, Fraser was there, Fraser was done a good job, making our mum was crap, but we'll get on to the players now. So, first of all, we're going to start by Debravka. I'm going to give him a six, because he did make a few mistakes, which led to a goal that, um, I think it was that Laporte goal. Um, he gave away that, that Laporte goal, but he spilled it. I mean, every keeper makes mistakes, but to, to let a five go past you was unacceptable. That's why I gave him a six. Kraft, I think he did all right. I gave him a six. He just didn't do too much. And then when Trippi came on, different beast. Night and day football. Night and day right backs. You could just tell there's something different there. I know Kraft has put an amazing shift in whilst Trippi's been out, but... I didn't see much of him. That's all I'm going to say. Um, what else we got now? We've got Burn. I'm going to give him a 6.5. I think he did good. He lost a lot of headers to, for example, Sterling. Um, but at the start of the match, he was very good defensively. I think the only solid one at the back, if I'm being honest. But that's why I gave him a 6.5. I think he was the best defender there today. Well, well one of the best defenders there today. Lasalle's going to give him a 6. He was pretty solid. Um, just did the same as Kraft. 
really. Just uh, stayed out of it. Didn't see too much of him. Nothing to comment on that one. Target, seven. He did absolutely amazing yesterday. Obviously, Maxi was not helping him out, tracking the um, um, their right back, um, their right back Cancelo. Cancelo was having a field day yesterday. Uh, no tracking back from Maxi. Um, Maxi said to Joel Linton, just mark in because I'm too busy just doing whatever I want to do. Not listen to the instructions. Joel Linton lost his man. No tracking back whatsoever for the wingers, which you need to do against their fullbacks. It um, got left down to target, who managed it really, really well. But that's poor. But that's poor for Maxi. We'll get on to him. But target did really well. Considering he's got Maxi, he's Mardios, turning them to market. Sean Longstaff five. Do we need? Do we really need to talk about this guy now? We're giving him a, a new contract, and he plays like that. It's just total disrespect to the name of the club and his name. He should not be wearing another Newcastle United shirt after that performance. I didn't see any of him. I didn't even know he was on the pitch. I just didn't know. Shelby or Willock would have done even better. But it's just, oh, so annoying to watch Sean Longstaff. It really is. His brother could do better. I prefer Matty over Sean. His brother can do better. And he's on bloody loan to Mansfield Town. And his brother's playing Premier League football, who's worse. Yeah, Bruno Hope six didn't do really do much. I mean, a lot of play, a lot of teams, a lot of teams are figuring out, uh, figuring him out now, look, just like what it did with Maximin. But he can do magic, and he did well. He did well. He got an early yellow card. That was a really bad foul by Bruno though. On um, who was it? Jack Grealish. That was a really bad foul. Looking, luckily not to get a red. Thank God. Uh, Joel Linton. Six, it again didn't do much. Didn't look the part today. Um, did the same as the Liverpool game, just not just not up front. Um, just, he got a few tackles in. He did all right, but he's just very slow on the ball. He's very slow off the ball. He's very tough. Um, and that's all I think of um, Joel Linton. I don't, I don't think he did all right yesterday. Don't think any of the players did, except for like, the players have got six or more. Um, six or more. It's like 6.5 or more. Um, that's why I thought of Joel Linton. Didn't think he did very well yesterday. Miggy, atrocious, five. There's no need to comment. No comment, Your Honour. Maximin, 6.5. I, th I think Maximin did right, um, offensively. Um, did right. Got, got a few players. Got past a few players, but didn't, didn't hog it or shoot. He did. He did quite a bit. But first half, he did right. He did, he had a good end product. Didn't, he didn't hardly get any shots away, which is what we want. Shoot when you have to shoot, not when you feel like it. Because bear in mind, you've got 11 man squad there for quality. Or for his levels, none. Unless that is real. Wood, atrocious. Five, no comment. We don't need to comment on him. I'm so wound up with Wood. We spent 25 million on a striker. Sometimes does alright. But, just remember that clip. Sometimes maybe good, sometimes maybe. Can't say it because I get, um, um, can't swear on this channel. Um, yeah, just awful. Right, Wilson, eight, absolutely amazing. As soon as Wilson came on, five minutes later, made a run one on one with the keeper. You don't see any of that with Wood. You don't see any of that. I mean, I know Wilson's a goal scorer and he's got all these stuff with him, but come on, Wood, you you brought in to make to get goals. I mean, Wilson came on five minutes later, throwing goal one on one on one. That's the type of person we need, and he did absolutely exceptional yesterday. I can't, and I can't speak enough of it. He did absolutely amazing. That's why I'm giving him eight. Trippier, eight. Did absolutely an incredible job. I mean, then balls whipped in. I mean, if Fernandino wasn't there, we would have got a goal. I mean, we could have got three goals yesterday. We could have got three goals. Wood could have uh, got that chance. That header was atrocious. Even though he's known for his heading, um, their their defense was quite solid with Fernandino when they came on. Um, they're very very. Lucky that um, stuff didn't go bad when they brought Diaz off, but that's it. Now, Eddie Howe, um, I'm going to give him a seven. Um, he couldn't do much, could he? He put, he put the start level out that we all wanted. Obviously, Willock and Shelley are injured. They're probably gone now for the rest of the season. He couldn't do much. He had to basically pick the start level we wanted, really. And um, that it was just all down to the players, really. Gave him the best he could. Obviously, I feel like he could have start, started Wilson or Trippier, but... Yeah, that's why I'm going to give him seven. Didn't do too bad, but <sighs> come on, gotta do better. Gotta do better. Ignore the date and the d date and the 
thing here. Just really wound up from yesterday. Anyway, guys, that'll be it for the match review. It's a bit of a, a letdown match review. Didn't feel good to do this match review at all. 5 0 loss. But we're going to go again next week against Arsenal. Live watch along again on Monday. Um, I think it is going to be a quarter to eight kickoff. Um, at eight o'clock kickoff. So we'll be live quarter to eight. Make sure to stay tuned for that. Um, a match preview coming up on Saturday. Um, I'm gonna try and get. I'm gonna try and get some more videos out for you this week. I'm gonna work. I'm gonna keep working on something this week. See what I can do. But that's all from me. I'll see you later. Bye.